uh, hey guys, thanks for coming. It was surprisingly hard to get kids our age excited about a 44-year-old man's birthday party. I don't know why. We love people talking about podcasts and back pain. You guys want to get some slushies? It's all you can drink slushies. My dad's treat. Whoa. Nice. All I can drink? Because that's probably different from all you can drink. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting a brain freeze just thinking about it. Bob, Dad, smell you later. Bye. Smell you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rudy, everything okay? You're looking very unslushy. Yeah, sorry. It's my mom's boyfriend, Paul. Look at him. Smiling, listening to people talk, making Watch. eye contact. What's up with that? Ugh, hate that. It's just, Dad's like a delicate caterpillar, waiting to become a big, strong, beautiful butterfly. But that's not going to happen if Mr. Nice all the time Paul comes over and steps on Dad's sweet little cocoon. And how is Paul stepping on your dad's cocoon? Seriously, Tina? Look at him. I just, it, it doesn't feel good. It's, it's just not good. Rudy, Rudy, just breathe. All right. I just want tonight to be the bowling party of his dreams and the perfect 44th birthday. Okay, done. What? Done. It shall be so. Just leave it to me and Jean and also Tina. Okay. Did you say Mom and Paul? Uh, yeah, there they are. Hey. Hey. See you soon, bowling buddies. <laughs> Oh, boy. That's it. Dad and good at everything Paul are bowling against each other. Paul will crush him. Worst case scenario, Dad's cocoon getting stomped. Caterpillar guts everywhere. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, all right. We're, listen, we're not going to let Paul humiliate your father on his birthday, okay? I promise. I swear it by my reusable slushy cup. <gasps> oh. Yeah, you heard me. Brain freeze. Here, uh, let, let me rub your head. Down. Thank you. There you go. It still hurts. I know. Let me it's... really rub it. Ah! Hey! Ow! Ah! 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 I'm sitting here. I'm sitting there. Okay. You kids aren't allowed back here. Right, right. Uh, so sorry for whatever this is we're doing. I was thinking this didn't look like a bathroom. Okay, get out now. Wait, please. What? <sighs> this is Rudy. Rudy, say hi. Uh, hello, I'm Rudy. And it's his dad's birthday, and his dad's about to bowl against Paul, who's his mom's new boyfriend. And Paul's good at everything. And he's going to kick Rudy's dad's butt, and he's going to look like... Like, what were you saying? Like a dead caterpillar or something? Yeah, he's going to look like an, an unrealized butterfly. Yeah, so we just want to help him win, you know, from back here somehow. I mean, it would be a lot like cheating, but it would be for charity. So, yeah, it's fine. We'll figure out something else. I love it. Huh? Uh, I feel like helping Sylvester by cheating is maybe not the best idea, and also just cheating in general. Tina, Rudy is our friend, and if our friend wants his dad to bowl an amazing game and teach Paul a lesson he will never freaking forget, that's what we're gonna do. Thank you. Yeah. Rudy, Rudy, can you hear me in there, buddy? Don't try and change my mind, Louise. And are you standing on the lanes? That's pretty frowned upon. Listen, we don't have to do this. Your dad doesn't need our help. There's a good chance he's throwing the game because he's... A nice guy who's really good at bowling but doesn't want to make his ex-wife's new boyfriend look bad or something. And doing this plan could ruin everything. Stuff actually seems pretty okay between Sylvester and Paul. I'm realizing the person who doesn't seem okay is you. Me? No, R Rudy. Oh, oh. Rudy, listen, because they're about to put me in bowling jail. It's possible he just needed a friend to talk to and not a genius to make a slightly complicated cheating plan. Ray!